Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2020. Continuing our run with Breuer FC in the Vanarama National League. And uh, October was a month to forget. Uh, we had a pretty rough run of form in October. Uh, we did get one more person in uh, to the team. We'll see if he makes any improvement or not, or it makes any difference, I should say. Uh, and we've already started in November off. On a little bit of a bad foot, although it's a little bit understandable. So we'll get into that here uh, in just a moment. So let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so here we are looking at uh, the schedule. And as you can see, October, we had four losses in October. Uh, we did win twice, although one of them was against Southport, who is in the National League North. Uh, and then we had a win against Chesterfield, which actually was a really good win. Uh, I think they were, what, second or third at the time? They're now down to seventh at the moment. Uh, and then we had a draw against Hartle, Hartlepool, uh, who is 16th. Oh, that really should have been a win. Lots and lots of rough losses. Uh, we, then we've already started November off with a loss here against uh, Rotherham. But, I mean, they're in Skybet League 1, so that was expected. The good news from that is that we made like $60,000 in tickets. I mean, we made a lot of money off ticket sales. So overall, our finances are in a pretty good spot. Uh, we still got a little bit of money left in the transfer budget, although we're probably not going to do anything with it. And our wage budget's looking all right, even with all the extra people that we've got in the team at the moment. I mentioned that we did pick up somebody on the transfers. Uh, you guys saw Lupano, I believe. Uh, we also picked up um, Bradley Garmston here. Uh, he is a uh, defender on the left-hand side. He can actually play up on this entire left side and all the way up, which is pretty cool. He's 27 years old, so he's a little bit old. Uh, we're paying him a lot of money, but he's really pretty solid. I mean, three and a half stars currently up to four and a half star potential. Um, probably paying him more than we should. Uh, he is valued at 125000 bucks though. So I guess if worst comes to worst, we could try and sell him and make some money. But, um, you know, he he's definitely comes in as our best uh, guy on the left-hand side. So, you know, something to, something to shoot, shoot for. He hasn't really played very well so far. Uh, he's actually at a 6.5 rating at the moment. Um, actually, 6.4 overall in all competitions, although... Again, that Rotherham uh, game is really hard to uh, to hold anybody uh, <laughs> uh, accountable for what, what happened in that game, to be fair. Um, so, all that being said, here's the team we're going to bring into the game against uh, Barnett. Uh, what's, what was the rank Barnett's at? Barnett's at third, so they're, it's going to be a tough game. Tough, tough game. But here's the team we're going to bring in. We're going to bring Garmston in. We're going to give him some more, sh more ch uh, chances, see if he can do anything good here. We got Leek and Kinsella here in the middle, uh, and then we got King over here on the right-hand side. Uh, King's actually played pretty well when he's come in, so uh, I'm hoping he'll continue to do okay. He's one of the guys that we brought in as a loan. Uh, we are not playing um, Lupano. He's on international duty, so is Rachi. Uh, Cohen is actually injured for several weeks, so we're not going to be playing him, although we haven't really been playing him anyway. He's, he's really kind of fallen off quite a bit with us. Uh, we got Birch coming in and Cuvelier. Birch is playing a little bit better than Lynch right now. Um, but uh, I still like Lynch a lot. He's going to come in from our bench, so hopefully we can uh, get him back into some good form at some point. I mean, he is our was he our captain or is he our vice captain? I forget which ones. I actually don't remember. Anyway, um, we got Bancroft, Wellens, and Hudson, and then a captain uh, Sturridge up front. So this four has just been our kind of fairly rock solid four. Bancroft's dropped off a little bit the last five games. Uh, Wellens has not been amazing, but he's got a really good average rating. So. They all have done pretty well overall, so I think that they're going to be okay. Uh, and then we got our bench here, as you can see. Pennicott and Hurst holding up our bench. Pennicott can always come in on that left-hand side. Obviously, Hurst can come in up front. And, uh, excuse me, a little bit late. I should not be recording this late. <laughs> keep yawning. And we got Lowey over here, who's actually also done pretty well. He was actually doing really good before we brought Garmston in. He might actually have to come in and play instead of Garmston if Garmston doesn't show up. So we shall see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and submit this team and get into the game. Really hoping the boys show up this time. Uh, we're just outside of the playoffs. I mean, playoffs weren't really in our cards, you know, from the beginning. So I'm not sure if I'm too upset if we don't make it. If anything, we could say that our early form is really just going to help us secure, you know, not getting relegated, which might be all that we can really hope for. And, and honestly, that's pretty good. I'm not not unhappy with that. Um, go show everybody what you got. I got faith in you boys. I really think we can we can hold our own against uh, this team, so we'll see what happens. I'm holding up hope that we're going to show up here, home game in front of our good fans, 
Let's see what we can do. We're already starting with a corner kick for Barnett here. Come on, guys. Defend this one. That is not how you defend that one. I mean, you sort of defended it at first, and then it fell in. Uh, it counts as an own goal, own goal for Yates. Well, there goes the yawning. Are you guys yawning too? Are they contagious across the internet as well? <laughs> ah, so frustrating. All right, that's all right. Sad to see stuff go like that. But again, you know what? I mean, we need 50 points to really feel safe. That's, that's what the, one of the news articles said earlier on in the season. 50 points usually is safety for... Um, for you know, go ahead, go short, short passing play. It's usually safely for the Vanderbilt National League. So I'm really hoping we can hit that 50 point target. We're more than halfway there. Uh, let's see, we're two points off of playoffs, and we're nine points clear of relegation. So depending on how you look at that, um, what was that again? Uh, sure, we'll put the ball into the box. That's fine. Well, King's actually not showing up today, which is unfortunate to see. See if we can turn it around. Yates going to start the playoff here. Gets it over to Leak. Leak gets it up to Kuvlier. This is getting a little bit dangerous. Let's watch out, guys. Birch over to King. King, come on, buddy. Do something different. Gets back to Kinsella. Kinsella gets up to Hudson. Really being kind of slow with this right now. Slow development, but maybe that's good. Hudson gets past a couple guys, although he gets it taken away from him, right? Just like that. I mean, you can't be running with it that much, buddy. You got to you gotta get it, you know, give it up to somebody. Johnson gets it back over to Jones. Jones back to Johnson. Johnson up to uh, Dunn. Done. Back to Jones. Back to Johnson. Man, they're passing around like nobody's business. Although it's not like we have got a lot of pressure on them right now. I guess they're just waiting for something to develop up front. Which it there it goes. Uh, Cole Thirst back to uh, I can't read your name. Walker gets past all the defenders. Thankfully, Garmston is there. He gets it pretty clear up, and that is halftime. We are down. Um, I expect to see something better in the second half, guys. Come on, guys. Show me something different. Show me something different. All right, we got a throw in here from Garmston. Gets it back to Leak. Leak gets it, tries to get it up to Wellens. Wellens, unfortunately, is not in the right spot. So I'm not exactly sure what was going on with that. Really not playing very well. I thought we had short passing play turned on. Leak gets it back to Yates. Yates gets it up to Bancroft. Bancroft back to Garmston. Gar is it Garmston or Garmston? I just suddenly forgot. Garmston gets it up to, trying to get it up to Bancroft. But again, Bancroft is not in the right spot here. This is not really Getting some good plays here. Kinsella back to Leak. Leak, huge highlight. What is going on with this, guys? Let's turn this into something. Yates up to Leak. Leak back to Yates. Still not developing into anything. Wellens, pretty deep, buddy. Birch gets it up. Bancroft's going to get past his man this time, but it's not got a lot of room here. Is that going to go out for... That's not going to go for corner. Okay. I don't know what that was, guys. This is, this is not the kind of play we were playing early in the season. This is not the team that beat Ebb's fleet. I mean, some of the good. I thought we brought some better players in. Better players aren't playing that well. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do here. Let's swap Bancroft out for Panicket. We know Panicket is amazing. Let's see what he can do. We can also make him a target man. Let's make him a wide target man. See if that gives any difference. Come on, Panicket. Show me what you got, buddy. Come on, guys. Let's get a highlight here. Um, Hudson's not doing well. We don't have anybody else to come in for him. Garmston is playing terribly over here on the uh, left-hand side. We do have Lowey can come in for him. Let's bring Lowey in. I guess we'll go with that. Come on, guys. I know you can do better than this. Uh, let's go ahead and go up to attacking, and we're going to shout to the boys. We're going to just demand some more. A little bit of pressure for Yates, but I mean, he's the goalkeeper, so I'm not too worried about him getting a little bit of pressure. Uh, I mean, I should be, but uh, let's go ahead and swap out you for Hurst. Let's see if Hurst can do something here. Got faith in you, Hurst. I know you've been asking for some more play time. I know it's only 10 minutes. really want to see you do something here, buddy. Apparently, we're not going to do anything. Uh, come on, guys. Show some passion or something. Nothing, nothing, no highlights, nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Still nothing. And that's it. Wow. What a depressing game. I mean, we only lost by one, but still, we just couldn't get anything going with this game. Man. I'll, I'll try and cheer him up a little bit, but I mean, 
the whole point of this season is to avoid relegation, and we're still in a good place to do that. So I shouldn't be getting on the boys too much. All right, we're going to put a cut in there. We'll come right back, or put a pause in there, I should say. We'll be right back for the FC Halifax game. They're currently sixth in the league. All right, we're back for our game against FC Halifax. Um, I mean, we're just we're gonna try some different things, see if we can get a different you know group of players to do a little bit different. I mean, we got I say different group, just we're gonna bring Lynch back in, for example. We're gonna bring Neville back in on the right hand side. Mundell Smith, we're gonna try him as a defender in the middle. Um, I mean, he's got pretty good star rating overall, to be fair. So maybe he'll be okay. Um, Lupano's back from uh, being on um, uh, international duty. We're going to try Garmson some more. I mean, he's a great player. We just we need to get something from him. Uh, we got Lynch, Kuvalier, like I said, back in the middle. We got Bancroft and Hudson on the left and right. We're going to play Hudson as an inverted winger. Just seems like he likes that a little bit better. Let's see if it does anything different for him. Um, apparently, he cuts inside a little bit more with the ball. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, we got Wellens in here, actually, as a striker, which, you know, he's not a natural striker necessarily, but he's one of our best players that we have. In fact, he is our best player. So maybe he'll can come in here and show something. He's actually starting to to drop down a little bit, which is really sad to see. So hopefully we can get him turned back around and uh, go from there. And there's our bench. So I don't know. We'll find out. I mean, we got to try something. Like I said, we're still doing well. We are still doing well for the season. It's just compared to how we started this, you know, for those first couple months, uh, this is a huge turnaround and it feels really, really, you know, kind of rough to deal with. Um, You know, there's no pressure. We'll just say there's no pressure. I do have faith in you guys, though. We'll keep saying that and go from there. Come on, guys. Just even just a draw here. Just get us a point. We just need, you know, like I said, if we need, our goal's 50. We're already past the halfway, you know, halfway point in points, and uh, we're not even quite to the halfway point in the year. So that we're we're trending good. We're trending good. We we're actually trending maybe towards 60 points right now. So, you know, we're at this point we're hopefully not going to get relegated, but we got to start putting some more points back on the board, guys. Garmson kicks the ball up. Campton Sturridge. Oh, buddy. Like, it was like a, it's right there. You should have had that. That definitely, definitely, definitely should have been a goal. No, not a real excuse. I mean, it was perfectly placed. He had the timing right and um, just, just kicked it over. We got to capitalize on those kind of goals, guys. Those kinds of opportunities. They don't come around all the time. Apparently, you're frustrated by my show some passion. Uh, my apologies. All right. Well, I mean, we're holding on to our draw here. So I guess I'm happy with the performance so far. A draw is a point, and a point is, you know, possibly good enough, quite frankly. Just get a few more draws, a couple wins to snuck in there where we can. Get our. 50, 50 plus points. Maybe, maybe we just call it a season and do some more rebuilding during the offseason. Um, Wellens is really not playing well. So we are going to go ahead and bring, we're going to bring Pennicut back in in his normal target man role and see what he can do. I want to give Wellens a chance. I mean, he's, like I said, he's our best player. So that's not his best position, to be fair. But, uh, you know, got to give him a chance where we can. I've seen him do okay in that position, actually. So it's not like it was complete, you know, failed, you know, bad idea, I should say. Hudson gets the ball, gets it taken away from him immediately. Thankfully, Lupano's got his head on a swivel. Gets it up to Pennicut. Oh, Pennicut, that's just, that's your thing, man. That's your goal right there to make. Get us back into this thing. Um, I'm tempted to just do a double swap and just bring both of our, yeah, why not? Let's bring both of our strikers from last season back in here. Luke Hurst coming back in. We're going to play him in his favorite poaching row and see what happens there. Let's give our guys from last season. Let them show these, these new guys how it's done, right? Let's go. Come on. Um, command more. All right. A couple guys focused. Got a throw in here from Neville. Neville gets it into Hudson. Hudson's going to get taken away from him again. A couple guys fall down. Kuvler gets it over to Bancroft. Finally, buddy. Eighth goal of the season. That's part of our problem is that Bancroft has kind of gotten a little bit quiet there for a while. And he's one of our top. He might actually be our top goal scorer. Um, so that was good to see. That's what we wanted. Sorry. I usually, I'm in the habit of 
skipping those for my my own games and i forgot to show you guys the, the replay my apologies i'll try to remember not to hit skip again um yeah i don't know what we want to do here hudson could come out he's tired he's got a yellow card can we can bankrupt play over there by any chance like any new role no not at all not at all do we have anybody that can play over here for him apparently neville can play this far up which would be interesting not the worst idea in the world uh if we're gonna do that though we're gonna put him back on a winger support and then can we have somebody come in for you hodnet hodnet can come in or lupano can swing over that might be better play him as a fullback he likes that a little bit better and then let's bring Lowey over here. Playing two of our left guys on in here, but I think it's going to be all right. And yeah, we'll just keep it on cover. A lot of rotation. Maybe it's a bad idea. We'll see. See what guys can do. Some different positions. Um, I just don't want to say anything. I don't want to mess them up at all. Come on, guys. Just hold on to for a couple more minutes. We got a throw in here from Mendel Smith. He's going to get it into Hurst. Hurst, back to Mendel Smith. Mendel Smith's going to get all the way across the Panicate in the area. No, he's not. Neville there's over there, though. He's going to try to get it back into Panicate. Not able to. He's going to chase this one down, though. Uh, gets, keeps it out, out of bounds. Going out of bounds. Over to Kuvler. Kuvler over to Lupano. Lupano gets it to Hurst. Oh, Hurst, that would have been amazing if you got a score there to show us, you know, hey, bring me back, boys. Bring me back. But we did get the win. And that's all that matters against FC, FC Halifax, who was third in the team in the, in the in the league. I mean, we know we can play. That's the weird thing. We know we can play. It's just, you know, we just don't do it every time. That's the problem. All right. Well, we got to win there. Thirty points. I mean, it's only one point off of uh off of playoffs again. So we're 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 a good team, quite frankly. We are a good team. It's just not had a row of you know just a bit of inconsistency there if we can bring this back around i mean our next game is against dag and red 23rd they're in relegation we should we should get some momentum off of this so uh here's hoping um part of me wants to show you the eps game but what i probably will do is plan on showing the billerick biller is it billerick billerick i don't know how to say that i'm apologies probably show you that game in chesterfield um I think that'll be a good game. Uh, if the absolute game turns into something good again, I might bring you back a little bit early and show you a little bit of that. But we'll plan on those two games here in December. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.